Welcome to American Realty Seniors Division. I am Hilary Walker, a realtor, author of real estate books and an instructor of real estate classes. But most importantly, I'm a seniors real estate specialist. And what does that mean? Well, I work primarily with older adults, 50 plus, but usually they're 65 and over. I help my clients to transition out of a family home to a place that is better for their current needs by helping them to sell and or buy a home. Today, I'm introducing you to Lisa Haskell of Care in Transitions. Hi, Hillary. Thanks nice to have, have you here. You're welcome. Um, Lisa's contact details are on the screen right now. For one of the things Lisa and I are doing today are is to provide some useful or valuable information for you, for someone you know, or just someone out there that mentions something, then here you are with this valuable information that who knew there was such a thing as caring transitions. So Lisa, let's jump right into it. First of all, I want to share with the audience um, how we met because that was not straightforward. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell the story? Yes, please, go ahead. <laughs> it was in 2018, and I had attended a meeting of the Gwinnett Council for Seniors, mm -hmm. and Hillary was not present, but I noticed that she was going to be an upcoming featured speaker, and I saw that she was a seniors real estate specialist, and I thought that um, we could be um, a good combined resource to our shared clientele. So I reached out to her and it happened to be um, good fortune that she had a client who was really in need of some of the services that we provided. So that was the beginning of what has been a long journey and a nice friendship too. Yes, yes, wonderful. And so Lisa mentioned the Gwinnett Council for Seniors and I'll just say a little bit about that. It's in the Gwinnett County in Georgia. So those of you who might be listening from outside of Georgia, that's a very specific group, but there are other councils like that um, that advocate and offer services for older adults. And that's why we are involved in that organization. Let's share with the, the audience a little bit um, the first project that we worked together on. Parents had passed away and the family home was left for the middle-aged adult to be able to um, uh, have to get rid of the home, so have to sell the home. One of the things we knew about the house was that it was lived in for over 30 years and there was an immense amount of personal items which I call treasures. <laughs> um, I call, you know, the stuff treasures and there is an immense amount of things in that home that one child who was already going through such a difficult time of losing both parents in the space of two years to be able to manage and so I called in Lisa to be able to help us through that experience so Lisa tell me about or tell our audience about the business that you operate what does it mean to a client like I've just explained to you and if you would like to go on is to talk about how you helped in that situation sure well Caring Transitions is a um, nationwide organization we have over 200 offices around the country and um, we specialize in helping older adults who have come to the point where they need to or want to downsize. Um, the services we offer are relocation, downsizing, and estate sales. So on the relocation side, we um, can start at the beginning with a professional space plan. We will professionally pack the household we will hire a professional mover that we have vetted and that we will manage and then we can unpack everything on the at the other property and mm -hmm. put everything away hang pictures on the wall remove all the boxes and paper packing paper and packing materials so that that person or, the, or those people are ready to just move right in and relax and not have to deal with the stress of moving which as uh, someone ages can be a significant uh, event in their lives. Okay. Right. A second aspect is downsizing. We can work with clients who have a, a target to move but are struggling with the amount of accumulation of things in their house. So we can come in and sort and organize those belongings for them, help them determine what to take with them versus what to let go of. And really it's almost a, a decluttering process along the way. Um, 
which can be, a, again, a really stressful factor for someone that's been in their home for so many years and have so many treasures <laughs> all around them. And then finally, we can help them to sell some of those treasures um, two different ways. We have, we, we offer in-home estate sales, a traditional estate sale where the public comes in and shops and, and uh, purchases items in the home. We also have an alternative solution, which is an online estate sale. We have a uh, nationwide online auction site called CT Bids, and um, we com come in and take ph photographs and um, build a listing and run the auction and manage the pickup of the items on behalf of the client. Mm -hmm. So a variety of, of ways we can help a client liquidate assets and help offset the cost of a relocation. Mm, wow. So that's a huge packet of or parcel of services that you offer. And it could be one piece of the service as well as the whole entire service. Tell us a little bit about what you did for the client I'd mentioned at the top of that question. Well, we came in to, there were so a couple of services that we offered. One was the online auction. Um, we went through and did the whole sorting process and helped to divide the items in the house between things that your client wanted to, to hold on to. They were things that were important to him, but he didn't know where in the house he could find them. So we kept an eye out based on his description of the things that he really wanted us to put this aside from him. And so when we found those things, we put them off and uh, gave him a call to say, hey, we found that, that thing you were looking for. Yeah. The second thing was we picked out the items that were of good value that we felt like would um, bring some money in for him, and we set those aside for uh, the auction. And then we separated out the lower value um, donatable items that um, would just be nice for a charity to have, as well as bag trash. So uh, we ran the auction, um, had a, a nice result from that. Um, people came to the house and picked up things they won. And then we brought in a dumpster and we started filling it. <laughs> and we called charities for pickups and um, got that house, which was uh, not a small house, completely right. cleared out. There was nothing left behind other than what your client was planning to take away from it. Right, right. It was a, a task that, I, you know, I took my hat off to you. I just said, wow, because I knew what the house was like prior to you going there. You know, um, you and your partner, your sister came in and walked through the house with me. The house was not on the market yet. And I couldn't really market it well with the situation that it was with all the things that were still in the house. And so it was important for him to have the house cleared in order for us to be able to sell the house as, um, in marketable condition as possible and that's what happened having the house cleared allowed us to then put the house on the market i think we put it on the market the same weekend that you were doing pickups for the sale because then we had a couple of people ask questions about the house itself too correct we did we even had someone stop off the street because they saw the sign and were curious about the house <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I believe, and I need to go back a little bit and find that detail because I think that it's one of the people who made an offer on the house. It wasn't maybe one that was accepted, um, but certainly it ended up being bought by somebody who lived locally, actually, who'd been watching the process over a year or so. And the timing was just right once we had finished everything that needed to be done and they came and bought the house. So it was a good story in the end. Um, you know, unfortunately, that life happens throughout that process. And so the, the gentleman who owned the home in the end, of course, you know, it's hard to let go of anything for your family, but, you know, to let go of the house that he grew up in as a child and to let go of his parents in such a short space of time is, of course, overwhelming. But I always come back to the fact that our job as senior advisors in whatever way we do our work, so you as a move management company and myself as a real estate, seniors real estate company, we focus on the individual first and foremost. And I know you do this, and that's why you're here talking with me because I have to build relationships with people who are like-minded in that way. And we focus on the people. We focus on what their needs are, and then we work around that to make everything happen and to achieve the, the task, the goal that they're looking to achieve. 
So I thank you for that. I, I probably thanked you a million times because it was a huge one, but I will thank you again and again and again. Um, oh, it's our pleasure. <laughs> yes, it was an interesting project, right? I quite, it was quite interesting to see the whole process um, occur, you know, take its course, basically. Um, tell us how, tell us something that would be um, useful, valuable for people who are thinking about moving out of their long term family home. Do you have any tips that you might be able to share with them? Well, I would say to, to start working on that early. And by working on it, I mean address what is in your house. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the volume of um, things that have been accumulated over the years, um, maybe you've got a full basement of things that you don't even know what's down there anymore, um, give yourself time to sort through that house. Um, don't wait until you've got an offer on your house and <laughs> you have to get out of it. That's when the stress really can be overwhelming. So to start um, in, in a certain room of the house, maybe it's your kitchen pantry where you go through all your canned goods and other items and, and sort out the ones that are expired and throw those out and reorganize so that you have uh, some part of your house that you have addressed that you can feel good about. And as you work through, um, just take it a little bit at a time, one room at a time, finish one job before you start another so you don't feel scattered, and then celebrate the success. Take before and after pictures, particularly if you've got an area that's just really cluttered. The feeling of looking at that, and I do this in my own house, <laughs> and seeing it straight and organized and um, being able to take a deep breath, it, it feels good. <laughs> so don't forget to celebrate. <laughs> That's a good tip. I like that to celebrate each moment. So each stage you get to celebrate and then move on. Awesome. And if it becomes overwhelming, uh, there are resources like Caring Transitions that can work with you and um, help to kind of set the work structure in a way that is manageable for you. Plus you have a third independent party to kind of help, um, help you make those decisions about what do I really need going forward for my next phase in life? Mm -hmm. And what can I consider letting go of to family, to friends, mm -hmm. to, to sell it, to give it to charity? Those are the types of services that we can provide. And I think that's a really good point actually to, um, to stress to people. As a human, and we accumulate a lot of things over the course of living our lives and the spaces we have, we pack them with things sometimes. Um, and one of my messages is always that it might be helpful just to have the conversation with someone like you, Lisa, of Caring Transitions. And there are other organizations like yours, but the move management title is the thing that I focus on most to say that there are people who focus their business on helping you achieve your goal. You know, there's a there's a famous saying, I think it was Ronald Reagan, who said something of the like is um, sit back and let the experts get on with it and don't interfere. And I, and I paraphrase that because I don't remember it word for word, but if that's the case, that is so such a valuable piece of information is we are here as the experts. And, I, and trust me, when Lisa comes in and consults with you, you'll be happy that she did because it will take a lot of stress off of your plate while you're going through this term of moving the house, leaving a community that you've been involved in for such a long time. All of the emotions that go with that can flow over into the actual moving process. So if you have that third party person to assist in helping you make those decisions, it can be really useful. And, and I think one more thing on that, and, and you might agree or not, Lisa, but share with me if you do, Sometimes the emotions that people go through during a move, which has sometimes been compared as the second worst thing in life for people, um, mm -hmm. it causes rifts in the family. And so if you live with someone that you're, you know, struggling with to decide on what needs to stay and what needs to go, that third party person like Lisa can come in and really help to diffuse that. Have you ever had that kind of experience? Most certainly. Uh, it usually, the stress usually happens between the adult children and the parents, where the adult children are struggling to understand the parents' reluctance to let go. They're in a different space in life. Um, it's a different generation where um, the 
things in the house don't carry as much value as the generation did they do to the generation prior so the kids get exasperated and they they just they, they kind of throw up their hands and it creates tension and stress between the parent and child yes. so calling a, a neutral third party in can be helpful to the family dynamic and to reducing that stress and anxiety yeah yeah, I've experienced that too. So um, I wanted to summarize very briefly um, the tips that you shared. So start the decision about what you need to move or get rid of or pack as early as possible. Mm -hmm. And the second one? Um, take bite off small pieces at a time. Don't yes. try to overwhelm yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And finish one task before you go on to the next. And most and important celebrate your successes <laughs> and celebrate i love that one most of all um the take i thought this was really good what you said as well is take a picture of a before and after i love that idea i've actually done that with clients where i've taken pictures of their house as it was because they might have a beautiful wall that has a photo gallery or something like that and i just take a picture of that wall or that space as it was and I've used that in one of my clients. The home was so well laid out and she was leaving to go to a place where it was not going to be like that for her because she had a lot less space. And so I took pictures of the home and actually presented that in a photo album for her. And it, you know, she loved it. She absolutely loved it. So um, I think that's a very good tip for people. So folks, this is Lisa Haskell with Care in Transitions. I'm going to put her contact number on the screen again. Lisa, it's always a joy talking to you. And now that we're working closer together on the board, it's even more pleasurable. Um, so thank you. And thank you for uh, being out with my clients. I've called you on numerous occasions and never failed me yet. So thank you very much for that. And thank you for your kind words. It's a joy working with you too. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So, folks, this is Lisa's contact details, which I am trying my best to get back on the screen for you. If you do have a need, even if it's just a consultation, I think Lisa would agree. Just give her a call. She's happy to have a conversation on the phone prior to visiting your home to understand what you might need to have done. Correct, Lisa? Correct. And our consultations are always free. Free one hour free one hour consultation in the home. Awesome. That's really good to know. Lisa, again, thank you. It's been a pleasure. We shall see each other out in the field somewhere very soon. Yes. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Good to see you again. Take care now. You too.